Tired of clicking filters manually every time you want to analyze your data? There's a faster way. In this video, we'll show you advanced Excel tricks that completely replace manual filters and help you create a fully dynamic, automatic report that updates in real time. This works perfectly for sales data, inventory, employee records, and more. Let's stop filtering manually and start analyzing like a pro. Let's dive in. Prepare the dataset. First, let me introduce the dataset we'll be using. Sales transactions data. Let's format this data as an Excel table. Use the shortcut Control plus T and make sure My Table Has Headers is checked. Tables automatically expand when you add new data, perfect for dynamic reports. Then format the date and currency values. Next, to build our interactive report, we need dynamic drop-down lists. Let's start by creating a unique, alphabetically sorted list of customer names. We'll use this formula, equals sort open parenthesis, unique open parenthesis, select customer name, range, close parenthesis. This ensures the list updates automatically when new data is added. Add a heading. Next, insert a new sheet for dynamic filters with formulas. Type customer name in the first cell. Then select a cell for the dropdown and go to data, data validation, list. Set the source as the unique sorted list by clicking the first cell of the list and adding a number sign to reference the entire spilled array. Now, we have a dynamic dropdown that automatically updates when new customers are added. Now, let's create a dynamic filtered table. In the below, copy and paste the formatted headers from the datasheet. Then use this formula equals filter then select the table range from product name to payment mode. After the comma, set the condition. Table 1's customer name column should be equal to the value in dynamic filters sheet drop-down cell B5. Then type a comma and enter the text no transaction within double quotes to show if no match is found. Close the filter function and press enter. This displays all rows where the customer matches the drop-down selection. Try selecting different customers. The data updates instantly, no filters required. Next, add dynamic sort options. What if you want to sort this filtered data by different columns, like category or sales amount? Let's add a second dropdown called Sort By with options matching the column headers. Go to Data Validation, Allow, List, Source, select the header names, Then, apply this formula, equals sort and use X match. Look up value sort by. Select headers range, sort order ascending one. X match finds the column position. Sort order will be one for ascending. Next, add a third drop-down for sort order with options, ascending and descending. Go to Data Validation, Allow, List, Source. Type ascending and descending. Use the switch function to convert text to values. Switch. Select a drop-down cell. Order cell, ascending, one. Descending, minus one. Now your data can be dynamically sorted by any column in any order, automatically.
Next, calculate dynamic totals. Let's add total quantity and sales amount that update based on filtered results. Total quantity. If we use a regular sum formula on a fixed range, it won't adjust to filters. You might notice it doesn't include all the visible data. If we use a full column range, any value entered outside the filtered results will still be counted, causing incorrect totals. Instead, it's better to reference only the filtered data using the spilled array. To do this accurately, type equals sum, then inside it use choose coals to extract the fourth column from the dynamic spill range starting at cell B9. Close the choose coals function, then close the sum function and press enter. Next, total amount. Follow the same steps to calculate the total sales, using the spilled array and choose coals to ensure only filtered data is included. 5. To sum only the fifth column from the spilled array starting at cell B9. This ensures you're totaling just the visible filtered data. Next, find the most frequent payment mode value from dynamic. Enter type equals let to define a variable, name the variable P modes, and assign it the sixth column from the dynamic array starting at cell B9 using choose coals, B9 hash, six. Then use index to return the value at the position of the most frequent item in P modes. To find that position, use mode.sngl. With match to get the row number of the most repeated value in P modes. Close all brackets and press enter. This formula helps dynamically identify the most frequently occurring value from a specific column in a spilled data range, making it ideal for summarizing trends without manual filtering. These dynamic formula methods give you more flexibility and automation. Great for dashboards and reports. Finally, let's also see an alternative way to filter and sort using pivot tables and slicers. This is great if you prefer visual tools or don't have access to dynamic array functions. Go to your data sheet. Click inside the table. Insert pivot table. Place on this worksheet. Drag fields to areas, rows, product name, product category, transaction date, payment mode, values, sum of quantity, sum of sales amount. Go to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular Form, Remove Subtotals, Repeat All Item Labels. Insert a slicer. Click on Customer Name. Add as slicer resize and format the slicer to five columns. Sort pivot data. Use drop-down, more sort options. We've built a fully dynamic, interactive Excel report that updates instantly based on your drop-down selections. No more manual filters, and so much more. The best part? It all updates automatically as your data grows, giving you more insights and saving manual effort. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.